Okay, everyone, embracing health. This is the visiting dignitary exercise. I may share this video in other places too. It is a really, really powerful transmutive exercise to let this inner being know, let this one in you know that he or she is the most sacred, most beautiful, most precious being in your life and that you are ready to honor and cherish yourself as never before. So I've seen a lot of people have um, you know huge blockages where we're betraying ourselves, abandoning ourselves, disregarding ourselves, where it's such an ingrained pattern we don't even notice we're doing it, and then we don't know what we want because we've shut down to it for so long, we no longer even register it on our radar as in our awareness of, of who we want or what we want to say, what we want to choose, what we want to be, and so it's like, no, I'm fine, everything's okay. We don't even realize that there's this inner disconnection. Okay, so I learned this from Regina Thomashower many years back and she is such a goddess and inviting so many other women to be in their goddessy selves as well and it applies to, to everyone. So um, you basically set up your space. You've got, a, you've got a visiting dignitary. So imagine the greatest dignitary you could have who comes to your home, to your space. Would it be, and it doesn't have to be a contemporary, it could be like Gandhi or Mother Teresa or Jesus Christ, or it could be a superstar or a celebrity that you love, like Queen Latifah or Oprah, and but someone you really deeply admire. And you're gonna create and set the space for this visiting dignitary. Um, you know, maybe music or candles, or cer certainly clean the space and organize things that are really beautiful the way you would want, the way that you would love. Um, maybe draw a bath with rose petals in it and candles, um, light incense, have chocolate or a decadent drink or some kind of experience there. Um, the visiting dignitary is you. You can take the whole day to prepare this space for this one in you that you are inviting to emerge, that you are doing this gesture for to honor. Set this space for you and then, you know, take as long as you like to set this up and then you walk into the space. So take, you know, even if it's an hour or two hours, like take time for yourself that you'll be undisturbed and receive this gift. Step into the space and feel the luxurious things you've set out or the delicious treats or the, you know, the warm bath and the candles and the sensual music and let yourself receive this experience. Within you is the greatest, most sacred being that you will ever encounter. And it really isn't until you're willing to set up your life for him or her that you allow that one to emerge. So you can practice this visiting dignitary exercise. Do it when you know like you can take the evening or the day off, like have a whole day off for this. It will awaken you like nothing else. Like what is more important than that? This one that you're allowing to emerge is divine, is magical, has capabilities that you haven't even seen that you have the ability to do and to be. So it's really a birthing process to allow this one within you to emerge. And this can release old patterns of depression, anxiety, release lack and not really ever getting what you need, um, change patterns massively in your relationships of how you're being treated by others that, that are there to partner with you, um, even change your relationship with your kids because when you begin to love from a, live from a space of I love and honor myself implicitly, everyone around you receives that message that you are sacred and beautiful and valued. Um, and really allowing health and healing, which is so important because it's nutritive to your body. Shutting out this part of you is, is just not acceptable anymore. You can't continue to live and do life this way. So I would invite you to practice this exercise or anything else that is really delicious to you um, to, to shift that relationship that you've made with your inner being that may have been suppressive or like wronging yourself or betraying yourself, abandoning yourself and doing and choosing all kinds of things that you haven't even checked in with, what do I want? How do I feel about that? Um, so it can really reverse so many of those patterns and invite in so much more. All right, lots of love. I hope you love it. Let me know. Bye.